Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my second graders. Hopefully that you are doing great whoever, whenever, wherever you are. Today's session, the completion of our story. What is the title of the story we studied it last week? Good. Life as a penguin. We know that penguins uh, live in frozen and cold areas. Okay. Now let's watch that presentation to help us to understand more, okay? Again, what's the title of the story? Good. Life as a penguin. Those pictures, it's for penguin. Here you have to know four main points. Four main points. The first one, you have to know the vocabs. We have eight terms. You have to know them. Already we started them last week in the previous session. Point two, the genre of the story. What's the type of the story? Our story, is it a humorous fiction, which makes you laugh, or it's information text, which gives you facts and information about a topic, or it's a narrative nonfiction. It's what? Good. Narrative nonfiction. A narrative nonfiction. Why it's a narrative nonfiction? Because uh, the writer used facts and wrote story using those facts. Point three, the target is skill. When you read, there is a skill, you will learn it. What's our skill today and our session? It's main idea and details. In order to understand and to figure out the main idea, the big idea, you have to read details first. So you can infer and predict the main idea. Point four, you have to learn it today, that after reading the story, we are going to read and answer some given questions. We'll start with our first uh, main point, which is vocab uh, in context. We have eight vocabs. The first one, whipped. Whipped means, you know the penguins, they have toes in their feet. Between their feet, they have skin. The skin between the toes. The skin between the toes. I think we have, but it's small that we have here. The skin between the toes, I think you can see it here in our picture. It, we call it whipped. Okay, whipped means that having a skin between the toes. Number two, waterproof means good. It doesn't let water to go through or it can't be damaged because of uh, water. If I have waterproof mobile phone or waterproof watch, it means that water will not damage it, okay? Because water will not go through it. Number three, steer means you or the, uh, to control the direction in which a boat or a car or something moves. Like the uh, penguins, they can swim skillfully because they have uh, webbed between their toes. They are webbed. So they, it enables them to uh, move also it's like sense, back sense for them. Number four, whistle. Whistle means to uh, blow air from your mouth. So if you blow air from your mouth, you are going to make that whistle sound. So also with the referee, uh, if you are watching football match, 
the referee he had a whistle. When something happens, he used to whistle. Good. The completion of the first point. We have still four other terms. Otherwise, huddle, slippery, finally. Okay. Otherwise means if something were uh, or if things were different in another, or also it means in another manner or differently. Okay. Number six, huddle. Huddle means when. Uh, a group of creatures, uh, people, animals, or whoever join together, especially out of fear or cold. Okay, so it means to gather closely together, usually because of cold or fear. Slippery means to hold, means to hold or to stand or move on because, sorry, it means it's difficult to walk or stand on that thing. Why? Because it's slippery. You can't stand on it because it's slippery. It's greasy. It's wet. Okay? So you can't stand or walk or move on it smoothly. It's wet. Like if there is oil on the floor, so you can't walk. Why? Because it's slippery floor. You can't walk on it. Okay? Uh, finally, it means at last or after a long time or in the end. Okay, now we first, we finished our first point, which was what? Good, the eight terms, the eight terms, you must know them. Okay, now let's move to our second point. If you need to, again, revise those uh, eight terms, you can find them at page 140, uh, 54, 55. Now let's move to our second point, which is what the genre of our story. The genre or the type of our story is narrative non-fiction. Narrative non-fiction. You will find this at page 158. It means that the author, the writer, so the author, the one who writes the story, tells a story while using facts from real life. As I look through the selections, the photos, it tells me that it's non-fiction. Okay. It's real one, but when you read it, you will find that it can't be that the father penguin starts to speak to the baby penguin and they don't speak to each other. Okay, so we call it a narrative or a story. So this is a narrative non fiction. Okay, because real life of uh, penguins is like this they uh, live in cold areas they can swim uh, skillfully and so on okay uh, so we finished now our second point let's move to our third uh, point which is what good which is our target skill reading target skill bit 158 i'm asking you how do you think that you will understand the main idea of something good you will use the clues or the details given by the writer to figure out, to infer, to predict the main idea. So our uh, skill, uh, reading skill for today is the main idea and details. The main idea and details, you, it means that you will read and use the given details and the clues to infer or predict or gift the main idea of a topic. Okay, now we we'll finish our third point for our session today. Let's move to our uh, fourth uh, point, which was what? Good. Reading questions, reading given questions and answers. In page 129, we have our essential question, which is how do animals care for their young? Actually, I think most uh, the question shouldn't be like this. It should be, how do parents care for their young? Because those parents, animals, uh, uh, whether they are animals, uh, people, or insects, whatever are they, 
they care, they care about their uh, babies. But here, our question, how do animals care for their young? Parents team up, work together to raise their young. They protect them from other animals and defeat them. So the mother and the father penguins, they care about the baby, they feed it, they protect it from other animals. You can stop the video now, open your book, and page 159, we will start to read page by page, and you will answer questions related to those pages. For example, on page 160, why does the author begin the selection with an explanation of the weather in Antarctica? Why do you think he describes this frozen continent? To grab your attention, to grab the attention, to get the attention of the reader and let him know about Antarctica and its weather. Okay. If also you look at page 160, why are the penguins such as or are they, uh, they are good swimmers. Why do you think penguins are good swimmers? Because they have webbed feet. We said webbed means they have skin between their toes and their feet. So they can uh, tell them to steer, to guide, to control their move under the water. Okay, question number three at the same page, page 160. Why does the author Compare swimming to fly. Why he compare swimming to fly? Because he was explaining how fast and will penguins swim. He was describing that they are swimming like if they are flying. Okay, because they are very skillful in swimming. Okay, uh, so they are very skillful at swimming. On page 162 and 63, now we move to uh, another page, 62, 63. Why do the penguins find the, when, sorry, do the penguins find their mates? At which time? The, on their journey back from the sea, the young penguins, the chick of the penguin, we are coming back from the sea, from swimming in the sea, they met some other mates, some other friends, penguins. Okay. On page 168, we jumped to another page. What do you think is the difference between the trumpet sound? You know, trumpet sound, it's a musical instrument, and whistle sound. The trumpet sound is loud and deep, but the whistle sound you will find it quieter and high. Also, look at the picture on page 174. What does it seem picture, page 174, look at it, okay? If you need to answer from your own, you can just stop the video, read the question, go to the, your book, page 174, and try to get the answer. After that, you can delete the video again. What does it seem to tell you about penguins family bit 174 it tells you about penguins family that they care about each other they care about each other they live in groups they live in groups uh, question seven what will happen for the young penguins in five years according to bid 175 bid 175 read it what it's saying it's going to happen in the coming five years. It says that it will be a grown up penguin. So those uh, Czech penguins, they will grow up and they will find a mate and they care for its own itches. Okay. Uh, I think that is all for today. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that you will have a great day. Thank you. Goodbye.